Um, I had two graduate student instructors okay. in the room with mm -hmm. me um, okay. at all, almost all times. Uh, we managed to do it with just one, one time we <laughs> had one who um, <laughs> didn't make it, but, um, and their job was to walk around and help groups. Um, that's our primary job, to answer yeah. any questions, kind of work through the problems. They, I don't think, typically looked at the problems before. They may okay. have, if they I had one who taught a class before and they might have been familiar, and I have had a couple of UIAs who may have seen some of the problems before, but again, I kind of topped them up, and if you yeah. change, change their context, they <laughs> look kind of different sometimes. Yeah. Um, yeah. So they were going at the problems new, and I told them, I was like, that's okay, you go through, and this is how I'm thinking about it, or how you're thinking about it. Occasionally, they would check in with me, you know, is this yeah. kind of what you're going for? I'm like, okay. yeah, that's fine. Mm -hmm. um, in terms of preparing for a class, I don't right. know that they did. I mean, they were expected to keep up with the course material, but okay. they, right. I post the notes ahead of time. They could have looked at them, but they came in. Okay. And it was just to talk to them. You know, are you stuck? What are you stuck on? What are you yeah. thinking about? And um, were mm -hmm. problem solving strategies? And they did a good job of doing that. Mm -hmm. I had one who was very reluctant to butt into groups. Yeah. Um, yeah. And I kind of worked with her on that. I was like, okay, so I'll tell you what, do this for me. Go up and, and listen, kind of stand there and listen to them and mm -hmm. try and come up with one question to ask a group. But mm -hmm. kind of to walk kind of next day, you know, maybe two questions to ask groups or, mm -hmm. you know, ask them about what they wrote about it from the board or what they were thinking. Um, mm -hmm. Or you could say, anybody have any questions, that's fine too, but just kind of let them know you're there and um, yeah. kind of to work on that. And that was less comfortable um, for that particular GSI. Yeah. And we kind of worked on that. Yeah. Um, the other role of GSIs was to run the catch boxes. Yep. Okay. And I guess I should say a third very, very important role for the GSIs that I emphasize them greatly was to help me see questions. Because again, I can't see right. the whole room. Right. I can't see all the students right. at once. Right. And so I'm like, you need to help me find questions. If there's a question I need to have, signal. Flag <laughs> right. Yeah, right. flag me Got down. It. Got um, it. And so they were good at doing mm -hmm. that. Um, and then again, manipulating the catch boxes, putting on the tables to the group. Mm -hmm. So we're talking to the group, okay, you're going to go mm -hmm. next. I'm going to put the catch box on your table, kind of moving those around. Um, and getting those to where they needed to go and then helping me find questions was, was super essential. How do you think that the format of the class impacted them when they were in discussion with their smaller groups? Right, um, so it was really interesting because discussion was one of those things that I didn't think a lot of about before I jumped in, I was like, okay, this is going to affect discussion. I will worry about that later. Is what I did yeah. first semester. Yeah. Yeah. And I was also concerned about study groups because the Science Learning Center study oh, groups are right. a big part of the class, and not all students participate in them, but many of them do. And I'm going, well, TBL is sort of kind of like a study group, and similar to what we did in discussion. And I'm like, oh boy. So um, the discussion piece was part of my class in mind. I was like, okay. Not gonna worry about that. The study groups I did wa did know that was impacting SLC and those study group leaders. And so the um, course leader for the first semester I was doing this was great. I'd worked with her before and she'd taken the class. And in fact, at the end of the semester, I said, "Can I buy you a cup of coffee? Will you come and will you be my ears and let me know what students had to say, how study groups went, was there an impact? You know, can I just ask you some questions if you wouldn't mind?" It's just like absolutely happy to do it. Um, and what she got out of the students was that um, students, she felt students came better prepared to study group. Mm -hmm. They asked better questions. Interesting. Um, because they were doing this work ahead of time and they'd had mm -hmm. the team-based learning and study group was another chance to do problems in a less formal setting and you didn't have me breathing down the neck or right, looking over right, the shoulder. Right. Um, and the study group leaders had some valuable skills too and she did not feel like it impacted the study group program in any way other than they asked better questions. They were better prepared yep. to go and do the work. Yep. I was like, well, brilliant. That's yeah. great. Yeah. Um, and she felt like there was a lot of positive feedback about the whole team-based learning process coming from the students, that for the most part, they were um, happy with the environment, liked it, felt that it was helping them learn. So yeah. she gave me um, yeah. good feedback. Yeah. Um, and then for the discussion, I knew that was going to be a challenge because the GSIs usually prepared a worksheet, and I had a grade associated with coming to discussion of that worksheet. Oh, and the students, yeah. I think, with that were kind of like, you're taking us from a group of six, throwing us into a group of... 24 right. now and right. you know do we subgroup breakdown and that became extraneous extra just kind of, I think it was forced and a lot of students didn't get a whole lot out of it so I changed it the second time I taught it and okay. I took the points away from discussion completely and I said here it is it's optional and the way I ran it it was a spring term yeah it's always a little different than yeah. a fall or winter but the first um, day of the week they had discussion I said, here's a worksheet. It's just extra prep problems. If you want the extra problems to practice for exams, you come to discussion, you can get the worksheet, and you can work through it. It's a day of problem solving. And then the second day of the week was, okay, you've got the practice problem, that set of packet. You bring that in. You have any questions on it, you get your yeah. questions answered. Yeah. And so I structured the discussions differently 
specifically for the spring term didn't require the points. The people who came, who wanted to come came or if they had questions, they came, it was a lot more flexible. Um, and the graduate students were positive about the effects that had. They got the students who were there who wanted to be there. Yeah. There was a purpose. I gave them the worksheets. They didn't have any prep time to do for that. They just needed to go through the one worksheet I gave them for the first day. And then the second day, they were answering questions Terrific. on. Terrific. Yeah. yeah. So that seemed to be a much better structure. And I need yeah. to fold that into yeah. a future term. Future. Yeah, mm -hmm. future regular term. No.